What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Legends Arceus and we are in the Obsidian Fieldlands. We have a couple things to do before, I know that we got to go to Ramanas Island uh, in order to do a side quest. Let's take a look at all the side quests available to us now. I know we got to find Wanda as well once more. Uh, so looking at the request, I should probably catch some catch some buzzles in my free time. Um, so I, that's one thing I got to do, I got to finish the Cherim. And then this is the windswept run at night. So the Myster mysterious will of the wisp. Uh, also the find the Pokemon with the scythe on each arm and catch one and show to Haimo on Ramanas Island. Let's see if I have that. I don't know. Let's find out. So one weird thing. I don't have a Monferno. I don't have a Chimchar. Let's get a Monferno really quick. I thought I cleared out everything from this island, but I guess not. But there's a Monferno. So we'll look for a Chimchar soon. All right, dude. I got a Scyther for you. What is up? Guess who must have brought me that Pokemon with a scythe on each of its arms? Go on, show it to me, please. So here it is. Oh, look at those keen blades. <laughs> They'll make short work of this. You see the Ramanas roses blooming all over this island? I have to ga gather every last one. I've been trying to pluck all of them myself. Having this, uh, yes, yeah, Scyther's help will make things much smoother. All the roses? They're for my wife, you see. She told me she wanted to fill our garden with these Ramanas roses. So I'm gathering every last one here to fill that garden right up to, for my darling deer. You're taking it too far with the roses. What? Seriously? <laughs> All right. So she just meant to plant some. Well, that was a pretty severe misunderstanding. I'm glad you came along before I plucked every rose on this island. I'll just bring some of the seeds home for us to raise together. Take care. All right. <laughs> I got a seed of mastery myself. Um, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm on the trail. There you are. Whoa, she's surrounded. Eek, help. Oh, please. I don't want to sprout mushrooms. Ugh. Do I got to fight all those? Okay, that's fine. All right, all right, all right. Come on, S-Dog. Let's get them. Pluck them up with your beak and gobble them up. They're level 50. What? Okay, uh, these are super effective. Let's try it. Here we go. Good. They're all level 50, unfortunately. So, let's see. Not very, not very effective, dude. You gotta try something better. Oof. Also not effective. Let's find another one. Aerial. Let's do... Hold on. If I switch... Wait, they're both... Okay, let's just attack one. Here you go. This is the one I'm attacking, and then will it be my turn again? No, it's this guy's turn. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Another aerial ace coming your way, and uh, there you go. There you go. Wanda, you're getting... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, my, I still have my Exciser. Or not Exciser. <laughs> my Scyther. Thank you. I, I swear I've never, never survived in Hizui without you as a teammate. I came to patrol because I know some of the villagers come out here to hunt for mushrooms. While keeping an eye out for them, I ended up hunting around a bit myself for some finds, but the mushrooms ended up hunting me. I guess my brother is probably a mess worrying about me again, huh? But you're so good at battling, perhaps even better suited for this, to the security corps than I am. All right, see ya. <laughs> it's almost nighttime, which means I can go the windswept run and uh, do whatever I need to do. So that would be where uh, I'm really close to it. And then it's uh, request this one. Let's go find it. Oh, it's over here. Okay, great. Got it. Good. No, no, it's down here. <laughs> Sorry, it's right over here. It's marked. So we got it. Investigate. Oh, hey, that's just uh, that's the monkey dude, right? Oh, if I get to catch him, that'll be great because I'm supposed to catch one of those. Hello. <laughs> all right. That's not even a will o wisp at all. I actually need to catch one. That's perfect. Chimchar. Uh, let me just try a straight up catch because I don't. Uh, let's see. Or maybe I could switch to. Maybe I could paralyze him. And then he won't be able to do much. He's not going to do much anyway. He's level 12. All right. Uh, fight. 
Thunder Wave, strong style. Let's go for it. I'm glad I found him. I don't know if it's gonna let me catch him. Oof. It will. Uh, let's try my Ultra Ball. This would be great. If I catch him, yes! Awesome. Wonderful. <laughs> Such little experience, but that's okay. At least it's more than nothing. And I'm happy about it. Go back in Pyre and show her the Chimchar you caught. Where is she? Where is she? Is she here? Uh, let me look at the, is she in town? I guess she must be in town. All right, up next, here you. Here we are with another mission. Medi, what's up? Aha, you must be Z-Dog, right? Hello, I've heard about you from Mai. Thank you for taking on my request. I'll get right to the point. Once, when I was little, I got lost here in the Obsidian Fieldlands. I was wandering around in tears when I stumbled upon a field of beautiful flowers. That's where I met it, a Pokemon I've never seen before. It gave me a flower and then set off walking as if to guide me somewhere, so I followed it, and it led me back to a place I recognized. Thanks to that Pokemon, I made it home safely. But I never got to properly thank it. I'd like to find it again and tell, tell it how grateful I am. The only problem is I haven't been able to find that field of flowers, so I'd like you to help me. Here, this is the only clue I've got. Grassidia, what? A flower sometimes bundled in bouquets to convey gratitude on special occasions such as birthdays or anniversaries. That's called the Grassidia flower. It's the same flower as the one the Pokemon gave me. Please find the field of Grassidia flowers in, here in the Obsidian Field Lands for me. Uh, okay. Is it marked on the map, or do I really just gotta find it? Oh, dear. Okay, I'll be on the lookout. <laughs> okay, wait. This must be, <laughs> did, it, did I fall? This must be it, because it's something triggered. I was just flying over. This didn't look as vibrant as I thought. These seem to be the flower field Medi had been looking for. Is this the field from back then? The flowers may be withered, but I remember these surroundings exactly. This has to be the place. All right. Excuse me, can you hear me, kind Pokemon? A long time ago, I got lost out here and you guided me back. I don't know if I'd have made it home without you, so I just came to say... Thank you so much! Oh my gosh, the, the flowers. Oh wow, now it's vibrant, okay. Beautiful, and it's, what is, what is this? Oh my gosh, I don't think I've seen this before. Or have I? She's happy though. Can I catch one of those please? Thank you very much Z-Dog. I'll make sure to thank Mai for pointing me towards you as well. I suppose you'll be staying here to study that Pokemon? Well, good luck with your work, take care. Indeed I will, um, okay, can I catch it? Okay, great, uh, yeah. Unobtained. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't make me repeat. Try again. Oh, come on, dude, don't do this to me. Oh, go! Oh, it's attacking me. <laughs> Where is it? Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. Do I gotta feed you a treat or something? What's going on? Oh my god, what? Oh no, no. Oh my. What about heavy ball? I'm coming after you. Boom! <laughs> Stay in there, please. What? Am I doing something dumb? Maybe I need to use a berry or something to feed it. I don't know. What the heck? Do you like this berry? Do you like, do you like berries? Do you like uh, this berry? Is it scared? What? What is going on? 
Do I have to fight it to catch it? What? Oh, it's level 70. Oh no, did it just disappear? Uh oh. Did it just disappear on me? Uh oh. <laughs> I tried to catch it, what the heck? All right guys, there's an Alpha Eevee over here that I've not seen before, I wanna catch it. It's only level 18. But, uh, so let me do a really quick swift move and see if that hopefully doesn't, it might just kill her, I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, good, it didn't. I avoided the attack, let's now uh, switch over and use the Ultra Ball. Interesting, I haven't seen an Alpha over here before. But there it is. Got it. Okay, I'm just gonna return back uh, because this thing isn't spawning again. I wanna see if I come back, it'll spawn. I got an Alpha Eevee, I got some more Boizels just to see if any of them are good. Big enough for that guy. So let me, uh, I got six new species, that's interesting. Uh, return to the village. All right, this is regarding the Chimchar Will-O-The-Wisp. And here it is, it's just a Chimchar. You can have him if you want. A Pokemon, but I'm certain what I saw was a Will-O-The-Wisp, you know? Hmm, I should look at this Pokemon at night. Okay, if you say so. So wait, I, it's gotta be at night? Okay, great. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back at night time, okay? Let me figure out a way to rest. All right, check it out at night. Here it is. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it. It'll glow. Look at its tail. How does that not shine in the daytime at all? <laughs> well, there it goes. It's gonna set everything on fire. No, <laughs> that's it. That's the will of the wisp I saw. All right. So it was a Pokemon all along. In any case, you caught it just like you promised. The Survey Corps really are a talented bunch. Now I just have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. I can't say I'm looking forward to that. Waka Waka. Gah! A Will of the Wisp! <laughs> no, save me, sis! Ah. <laughs> Alright, well. Complete. Request complete. That's a long time coming. And then now about Wanda. Thank you for saving Wanda yet again. I'm so glad we got the Survey Corps to rely on. I was chilled to my marrow when I heard my sister was caught up in a Pokemon attack this time. If only she could just get herself assigned to patrolling the village for a while, nice and safe. Now, is she gonna be, I got three star pieces. Is she gonna be gone the next time I come back? We will find out. I will find out real soon, don't worry. And back in, let's see. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Oh my God, she's gone. Guess, guess who, guess who knew? Wanda snuck out of the village without telling me she hasn't come back. I heard she was all bundled up against the cold, too, so I got the sneaking suspicion she went to Alabaster Iceland. Whatever sent her out there doesn't seem like it was an assignment from the Security Corps, but what else could make her want to go to such a dangerous place alone? I really need some help again from you and that Ursa Luna. Use the scent from the scraps of Wanda's old kerchief and search her out for me. I will. I will once more. I won't let her down. Oh, he's, wait, he's going? Sorry, I skipped through. I just thought it was gonna be the same old, same old, but I think he said he was going this time. Oh, my savior, I was looking for you, you know. Oh, wow, why did, why are you here? What, my brother went to the Alabaster Icelands? Zeke, that brother? The one who's refused to even set foot outside the village since he got attacked by some shanks and totally traumatized? Well, we've, we've gotta find him at once, please, savior. <laughs> You've got to help me one more time. So we gotta go find him in the Icelands this time. Okay, but how am I gonna, uh, I guess how am I gonna locate Zeke? Maybe I'll pick up a scent or something, I don't know. All right, there it is again. Trying to go Ultra Ball style on it. That was in the back. Oh my gosh, finally. But I'm happy. A token of gratitude. Thank you so much for letting me catch you. 
What was that shining? There's a shiny. There it is. Here we go. And then I'll just I'll just return back to the village. Or no, I need to go to Alabaster Islands, right? Yeah. Okay, so I returned to the village because I also think I caught a big a big buzzle. Let's see if it's true. It says it's two eight. And so I think it was this one. Let's see. Check summary. Two eight. This is the one, dude. This is the one. Select it. Come on. Yeah, this is the one you can have. It's bigger. Oh yeah. Well, thank you. Look at them side by side. It's almost like the big one is the little one's older sibling. Look at how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's flo flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is. Don't you think? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on which one's bigger. Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. Thank you for the favor. I know you survey core folk work is no j folks work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. Finally get that one done. That one was taking me forever. All right, so let's get out of here. Oh, okay, I'm finally getting blue. Must be this way. All right, where is it gonna be? Where's it gonna be? Wait, where's blue? Where'd blue go? Oh, oh maybe it's in here. You think it's in here? Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. So it sure doesn't seem to be in there, but... No, it's not in there. Okay, my bad. Oh, it is down there. Okay, great. Oh, you... Can you and Sneezer get me back up there? Gah! Oh, wow. That's a big guy, huh? Do we gotta defeat him? Here it comes again! Alright. Is this an alpha? I can't tell. Yeah, it is. It is an alpha. Uh, okay. Ow. Uh, I have super effective flamethrower. Let's see if that does any good. If I can catch him, I can catch him. Yeah, I might be able to catch him like this. He was burned, so he might burn. T-Dog is gone. He's burning. Uh, bring out S Dog, I guess. And then Ultra Ball time. Catch an Alpha Glalie, maybe. Maybe so. All right, got it. And then uh, someone leveled up. S Dog leveled up. Good. Oh, goodness me. Thank you for saving me from that complete and utter disaster. But but it's no good. I still haven't found Wanda. You missed her. Did you save my brother, my trusty savior? <laughs> Wait, you mean Wanda was fine all along? <laughs> oh, good. Now I can pass out in relief. I'm sorry I made you worry. Never mind that. What were you thinking going to a place like the Icelands without telling me? Oh, well, the fact is, the fact is I came here for this. What is it? Can I have it? An ice stone, nice. I came to find that stone so I could give it to my, you, my savior. I was told it was pretty rare, so I thought maybe I, I could help you with your survey work. Ah, uh, don't give me that sad look, Zeke. Of course I got one for you too. <laughs> I really owe both of you so much, my savior and the one always sending him after me. I'm going to keep working hard to become a great security corps member to, to pay you two back for everything you've done for me. Come on, bro, let's head back home. I, I've gotten really strong with all my adventures. I'm sure I can get you back to the village safe. I'm really glad to hear you think so, Wanda, but that the village is that way. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I think Wanda's still going to need you to look out for a little while yet, or more like a long while, a real long while. All right, there we go. All right, back at the village, here's another mission. What's up, Ida? You're with the Survey Corps, right? A Chimeko's decided to nest in my house. Do you think you can help me get it to move? All right. It's a chime. It's a wind chime. Just enjoy it. It made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease with having a Pokemon so close. I've already spoken to some homeowners who'd be willing to let Chimico move in with them. What I'd like to, for you to do is to have a look at the homes and make sure they'd be a good fit for Chimico. 
It's not like I can tell what Shimiko feels, so. The first place I'd like you to check is that farmer's house near the fields. Think you could be a nice, think you could find a nice place for Chimiko to hang there? Sure. Let's go find a place for Chimiko over here. And it looks like a good place. Good as place as any. Got, got vegetables to chomp on. Uh, but he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it at all. The wind direction seems to be bothering Chimiko. All right, well, where to now? Well, okay, I did, that didn't work. Your place is perfect. You're just gonna let it live there. Shimiko wants to live there with you. Oh, so it prefers the way the wind blows around my house. I like it too. We, we get a good breeze. Yep, it wants you. Well then, how about a hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. Oh, great. Well, maybe not. Maybe it just wants you. Did you ever think about that? Fast travel right there. Where am I going? Where am I going? It's for real. Where am I going? <laughs> okay, over here. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes I get so lost. Lost in a daze. The open world's like a maze. It's okay. Yeah, no. This is too lonely for the Chimico. The Chimico wants to live with you. Don't we already know? Here we are at Prelude Beach. What do you think? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not good enough. Nobody's around. It's too lonely. It's too lonely. Uh, nope, not leaving. I'm g I'm just trying to find my way. I just saw, yeah. Whoa. Are they supposed to be here, dude? Hey, shall I shall I see how compatible? No, for, no thanks. Forget about it. I was just curious what was going on over here with these big guys. Where'd they go? One of them just left. All right, no, Chimiko likes it there. Sorry. You're just going to learn to live with Chimiko. So it likes lively places. It's always great to have some activity around. How about the training grounds with the security core around that place is always bustling? Uh, they want... Okay, well, I'll go, I'll go, but no, they're not gonna like it. Not gonna like it at all. Investigate. Nope. Oh, no, he likes it. Okay, he does like it. Wow. I thought the story was gonna be like, no, he just wants to stay with you. Is that Wanda? Is that your Chimiko? Why don't you uh, come and train, train with us? And he's like, no, no. I'd rather just stay here. Oh, he doesn't like to battle though, so he's happy in the place, but he doesn't like to battle. Oh, dude, sorry, sorry, but I like this fast travel. I'm just fast traveling around the village. <laughs> All right, well, uh, sorry to say, but no, sorry, you have to let it stay here. It likes it here. I guess it's only natural that some Pokemon don't like to battle. I'm sorry to scare you, Chimiko. Chime, it's happy here. Oh, it's telling me not to worry about it? How about next door to me then? It's hardly different from my place at all. I just had a chat with my neighbors and they said they'd be fine with Chimiko hanging around. Dude, maybe it's you that Chimiko likes. Nope, nope, uh, pardon me. I know I just sent you chasing uh, about looking for a good home for Chimiko, but I think I'd like it to stay with me after all. You really helped me understand Chimiko a lot better, and I think we can actually live together now. It just dawned on me that hearing its adorable cry come from under the eaves is part of my routine now. There you go, jeez, just keep this Chimiko. You're going to live with me from now on, aren't you Chimiko? Thank you for all of your help. I'm glad this village has a survey core. Done. Got a sunstone. There we go. There we go, a new Cherim. I need to beat him, and then, uh, so I'm just gonna do a flamethrower. And this should get him to level 10 and, and complete his Pokedex. Excellent, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, super effective, but whatever, I'm out. Too far from battle. Got the Cherim though, and uh, am I being targeted? I am being targeted, that's okay. We're getting out of here. 
Gonna go show the completed Pokedex entry. All right, I've completed the uh, Pokedex ent entry for Cherim, so check it out. Finished Cherim's Pokedex entry, have you? Let me have a look. Oh wow, you sure went into detail. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. So, it changes its form when the sun's hidden. Guess I didn't see it evolve, I just saw that change in action. I see now why it helps you have uh, to have you Survey Corps folks working at researching Pokemon. Guess I better get back to my own work. Food on the food's on the table, just another way to repay you, huh? To bloom or not to bloom. So that was, you know, a while back that I got that mission, but I finally did it. What's left? All right, guys, I don't know if this is gonna do anything, but I'm evolving two Wurmple, uh, so do it. <laughs> I hear they need to evolve two to, to progress one of the missions onwards. I don't know if it's true. It seems to be a bit of a mystery, but let's see what happens. There we go. There's one of those guys. Cascoon. And then let's do the other one. And I guess that will that also be a Cascoon probably? Let's see. Oh wow. A Silcoon. Awesome. So I have a Cascoon and a Silcoon. Awesome. Now I don't know if this guy's gonna be ready. No, he's not ready. I'm waiting for him to give to like to progress onwards. Cause remember how this guy evolved last time? Oh right, well we'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Alright, I'm in the photography studio. I don't think I've even been in here yet. So what's up? I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your photo taken? Why not? Who's my starter? Let's do it. What do I do? What do I do? Take photos. Sure, start taking photos. Shoot here. Change your pose. How about I, how about I face? <laughs> there we go. Shoot here. Start shooting. All right. Okay, cool, capture. Got it, I think I got it. Yes. <laughs> All right, I get it, I get it, cool. What would you like to do? Never mind. Huh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. There's supposed to be like a mission somehow. I don't know how. Okay, sure enough, something new is on the board. Wormples evolved. Okay, great. Bogar from the security corps seems to be in a pickle over his Wormple's evolution. Speak with him and look into it, won't you? So for whatever reason, I had to go to the board rather than just speaking. Okay, odd. Know the request. Let's go then and see what he has to say now. Do do do. What is up, dude? I don't believe it. Professor Lavington seems to think that little Butish Patricia here is a cascoon. Uh, but hello, it's clearly a Silcoon. Cascoon. You're making some kind of Pokedex or something together with the professor, right? Then you gotta help me. Please go catch a wild Silcoon so I can prove it's the same species as Butisha here. Now, do I have to catch a wild one? I don't think so, because I, I evolved it, right? <laughs> have you brought, yeah, here's a Silcoon. It's uh, right over here. I caught a Cascoon and a Silcoon. Boom, yours is a Cascoon. They're different. Interesting. Ha, just as I thought, they're exactly the same. <laughs> they're different colors. They're different eyes, different colors. Hmm, now that you mention, I guess they're not exactly two peas in a pod. I just never would have thought two Pokemon this similar could actually be different species. Pokemon really are curious creatures, huh? Casco. Beautician, my buddy. I didn't know the first thing about you, did I? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. You, sh you sure you're still happy to have a goof like me for a partner? I guess so. Butisha, you lovable rascal. You really are the only partner for me. This dynamic duo will stay together forever. All right, Wurmple's evolved. There we go. Another mission under my belt. Okay, guys, so I have come under the realization suddenly that uh, all the Pokemon listed in my Pokedex that are grayed out are not the only ones that I still need to capture. 
No, no, no. There are other ones that are not even revealed that I need to capture. And that has has made me sad. <laughs> so one of them, I'm here next to him. It's not in Pokédex right now. But there is one over here. I think only the seen ones will show up as gray. But this one I guess I've never seen before. And now that I have, I'm going to try to sneak over and capture one. And oh my god. Oh god. Okay. My bad. Uh, I still, okay, hold on. So I'm going to try to sneak over and get one of these guys. And then check it out. So hold on. This is a Pakarisu pa, unobtained. And hopefully now it'll be obtained. And if not, then there's a, okay. So I got one. Okay, I keep forgetting I can evolve the okay. I keep forgetting about these uh, these worm things in my okay. So let's let's see. Uh, what's going? Okay, I can evolve these now. Evolve, sure. Cascoon, evolve. What are you gonna become? Let's go. Here we go. Probably like a butterfly, right? Some sort of a. This one is a nice dust ox. Excellent. And then this one can evolve as well. Do it. So here we go. So maybe I need to consult like a map or something of all the Pokemon that are out here that I haven't seen, even seen yet. So there we go. I, I probably have one of those. Uh, Beautifly. Okay, great. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, this guy that I uh, was talked to earlier is now standing out here with a mission, which is great. Ah, just the person I was waiting for. There's a Pokemon I was hoping you could bring me. I've been trying to make a business of offering the groundbreaking experience of having your photo taken with Pokemon, but no one around here seems to understand the appeal. Perhaps you're all just too afraid of Pokemon to get over their reluctance. But I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo, and it gave me a brilliant idea. Where's the Pokemon? Oh, right in front. Is it the Boonie area or whatever? See how fluffy it is, how adorably soft, how irresistibly, impossibly cuddly? Once people see uh, a Pokemon like that in a photo, all they'll want to have their portraits taken together with it. But I need to get a better shot of it than this one. If you can find one, could you bring it here? So the Pokemon, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure I have one. Do I have to have it at my party? Uh, let's see, I might have to have it at my party. If not, then uh, maybe I can. Can I just show it to him here this way? Let's see what's up uh, about the request you had. I think I got the Pokemon you want. Uh, so let's see where would that be? Kind of looking for it really quick. Just going all around, Booniary, right? That's what it's called, right? Uh, let's find out. I'm not sure. Huh. Unless I already gave someone one. I don't think I did, though. Oh, wait. There it is. Uh, let me give them, like, a weak one. They level, oh, these are all level 44? Fine. How about this one? Oh, it's even fluffier and lovelier than I imagined from that photo. This is it. This is exactly it. Let's get a proper shot at once. All right. I was able to get just the shot I needed thanks to you and that Pokemon of yours. This should go a long way towards getting the other villagers over their fears and into some photos with Pokemon. Nice. All right, now that I caught one of these, I think this mission is triggered. So, Rin, what's up? Captain Zisu has sent me to all sorts of training, but I don't feel like I'm really, really improving at all. So I came here to train with my partner, Pakaritsu. I think I said that right, Pakaritsu. But I simply can't seem to figure out any winning strategy to use with Pakaritsu. I've heard tales about you, though, and your strength in battle. Could could I ask you to show me how a Pokemon like Pakarisu can truly shine in battle? I want to see you battle with a single Pakarisu. No more and no other Pokemon. If you think you can show me how it's done, I'll be waiting. All right. Sure enough, I can make this. Uh, this can be a challenge that I can do. Uh, I want to see my Pokemon. Let's put out my single Pakarisu, uh, I suppose. Let's go. It's the latest thing I captured, so... Uh, so move him into battle. Move everyone else out. They'll all be here. This is level 24. I don't like it, but whatever. So, there we go. All 
All right. Do not worry. Let's take some time. <laughs> this is actually does take some time, huh? All right. Come on, P dog and D dog. Perfect. Let's do it. I can show you how to battle. Ready to show me what a what Pikarisu can do? Let's see it battle against the a mighty Ursa Ring. Watch and learn, dude. That's the spirit. Now follow me. How how strong is the Ursa Ring? How how strong is this? I may not be I might have to level this guy up before I do it. Uh I may not have to level up too much. Baby doll eyes. Lowers the target's offensive stats. That could work. 60, 65. Let's do this, uh, let's do this, uh, 65. Uh, maybe this will work. I don't know. I could, maybe I could use a potion, right, if I had to? He might be paralyzed. That could be good. Dang. Okay, uh, items. Let's give him a hyper, let's give him a, let's give him a hyper potion. He might be paralyzed. Maybe I'll get a turn. Nope, there's a slash. Oof. It's okay, I'm gonna have to keep on, I, I should have maybe leveled this guy up or something, I don't know. I forgot I forgot to even think about doing something like that. I'm hoping his paralysis kicks in and he can't do something. Okay, baby doll eyes, lowers my offense, it's okay. Oh, he was cured of paralysis, sure. Okay, fine, here comes another move. He's paralyzed again, good. Oh, there's a slash. Oof, oof. Items again. Let's, uh, ugh, man, I'm tearing through these potions. Okay, uh, yeah, there's another slash. Okay. No, 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 po items, potions. Let's do it. I don't like actually like using one each and every turn. Ugh, bulldoze is very painful. Dang it, come on. Okay, I need to I need to level this guy up or something. Yeah, I was like, what happened, dude? Seems like this, this is one challenge that required methods beyond the ordinary. If you figure out an amazing way to battle with uh, Pakarisu, come back and show me. So yeah, I gotta level him up. That's the main thing. Okay, I moved some candies over. Let me see, how much does this level him up? The smalls are working pretty good for him. Let me uh, let me do a few mediums. Let's use like three mediums. Let's use a few more. Oh, he mastered one of his moves. That's good. Let's uh, let's see. Use another five mediums. There we go. And then we'll use another. Uh, he got some new moves. Mastered some moves. And then let me use uh, a couple of these until he's 34. There we go. Okay, uh, let's take a look at these moves then. Uh, I was I was in the right place. Let me see what's going on. Pakaritsu, change moves. We got, uh, oh, this is a dark move. Let's put it over. It's gonna be better than bite, so. Crunch, confirm. I'm happy with that one. There you go. One, two, three. And then and then we'll face off against that guy, that bear. Hopefully it's the same level. Hopefully it's not like leveling up as well. All right, watch and learn, buddy. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready to go. I should have maybe got some more potions before I moved, <laughs> moved over here. So I'm higher level this time. So crunch is 80. Uh, I could also do a strong spark, which would uh, hopefully, it's possible that he'll get two attacks on me and faint me though, so. He is not paralyzed. Okay, there's Bulldoze, which is gonna hurt me pretty bad. Dang it, so he's gonna get two moves. Okay, that was dumb. I'm just, I just need to do one move so I can heal in between. Gosh dang, okay, yeah, I know, no other, whatever. We'll figure it out, don't worry. I also need more potions then. I'll, I, I know an amazing way. Just hold on. Let me get some potions. I can, can I buy them from you? No, no, hold on. I mean, yes, I do need a rest, actually, so. Just a little while, but then I need to get the potion. 
some potions, hopefully. Or I could craft them, I suppose. So let's see if he's selling any. Uh, let's see. He is selling potions. Good. Uh, yeah. Let's do hyper potions. Let's do some super potions. Let's do, like, 15 super potions. And then, like, another nine of these. Awesome. Okay, let's let's do it now. I'm ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna be healing and all this stuff. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I hope. Watch and learn. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got. Maybe I'll just capture him. Will that be a victory if I just capture him? Probably won't let me capture him. All right. Uh, fight. Let's do a regular crunch. Here we go. Not bad. Baby doll eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, there he goes. Okay, ouch. Ouch. This is where I'm going to want to go ahead and heal then. So I'm going to get my potion move down here. There we go. I'm just going to kind of uh, keep healing until I get another shot at him. Like right now. Right now would be good. And then uh, crunch again. There we go. And his defensive stats are lowered, so another crunch will probably do the trick. Eesh. Let's do a... Yeah, let's do a crunch. One more crunch. One more crunch is gonna do the trick, I'm sure of it. Goodbye, Ursa Ring. All right, there you go. Now let me get my party back. <laughs> Astonishing, that really was amazing. You defeated a nursery ring with a Pakarisu. And your Pakarisu was so pumped up and eager for battle, it looked like it, it, looked like it was fearless. You directed Pakarisu with such a plum in battle, it was clear how you, well you understood it. I guess all the work you Survey Corps members put into learning about Pokemon does pay off. But we won't be all done. We'll work hard to reach that same level of understanding. And he's excited. There we go. Battling with Pakarisu, complete. There's so many more missions, so we'll see. Okay, dude, I don't think I got this guy yet. The pseudo Wudo unobtained. And this should help me unlock a mission if it, if it, oh, come on, come on, no. Give him the back, thank you. I'll aim for the other one while I'm busy. He's just sitting here, dude. Did this other one get away? Dude, come on. Who's attacking me? Got one, finally. My first one. These guys are all after me. Got two. Not that I need two, but I got two. All right, with Pseudo Wudo found, there will be a new mission here, Watering with Care. And there's a Pseudo Wudo at the Bogbound camp that seems to be feeling rather poorly. Odo, one of the chaps from the village, is doing his best to treat it, but he could use a bit of help. So we'll go find out what that's about. This guy has something else to say. Thanks again for lending me a hand with getting that photo of Bunieri last time, Recruit. Everyone in the village sure loved it. I was hoping I might be able to, to get your help on another little task, in fact. Would you look at this? Okay, I, yeah, yeah, that's a uh, dusk something. Rather eerie, wouldn't you say? That thing was so close and yet I had no idea it was even there when the photo was being taken. From a shot like this, I can't even say with any certainty whether it's a Pokemon or something else entirely. If you recognize that thing in the photo as some Pokemon that truly exists out there in the wild, I'd like to see it. I sure love your help on this. So I do have uh, the Pokemon in the nighttime photo. That'll be good. In fact, this is another mission that I have left to do. So I'm going in and uh, seeing what all he has to say. What's up, dude? Uh, about the request you had. I think I have the Pokemon you want, and it is, here it is, the, the Dust Skull. Finally found it. What a hair-raising spectacle. Yes, I'm certain this is the Pokemon from the photo. Well, now that I've seen such a clear example of the real thing, I'd like to get a proper shot. So good for him. You know, I must admit, I feel quite relieved to know that it truly was just a Pokemon in the end, and a Pokemon with its own sort of charm, really. I'm glad I was able to ph photograph it. All right, I traveled to the Crimson Mirelands. What is up, dude? Odo. I've been waiting for you, kiddo. Let's get down to business. Let's have a look at that pseudo-wudo. There it is. I already caught one, though. 
too. It was looking pretty listless, so I gave it a whole feast of berries. Seems happy. But even though I gobbled them up, it seems like it has no energy at all. Isn't that odd? So then I figured it must be parched. After all, it's like a plant, right? It must need to be watered. It's raining right now. So if we could just fire off a healthy water pulse at it, I'm sure it'll perk up in no time. You're right. Bring me a Pokemon that can use water pulse so we can get that pseudo wudu feeling right as rain. I think I have one right now, right? Does does uh does Pete Pete doesn't have water pulse? His aqua tail. Well, here's one with water pulse. Hold on, do I have any others with water pulse? Perhaps something with multiples. This one has multiple water pulse. There you go. Blast away. All right, get ready, pseudo wudu. All your worries are about to be washed away for good. Yes, we're doing this. <laughs> I just I said it more enthusiastically than 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 I said it. Wudu. No, do. Is it good or bad? Oh, we're fighting. Oh gosh. Well, okay. Prepare for a beatdown. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I guess we can't capture it, so let's just do close combat. Super effective. Go. Boom. Goodbye. That's all I needed was a good beatdown, dude. <laughs> all right. Maybe not. We'll see. Woo. Maybe it doesn't like getting wet. Do. Is that it? Gosh, I guess it rained on your parade. Sorry, Sudo Wudo. And I'm sorry for making you a part of this, too. I thought I was helping, but when you get right down to it, I just didn't understand Sudo Wudo. Keep working hard on that Pokedex to educate poor folks, poor fools like me, would ya? There we go. Watering with care complete. All right, I said I wasn't going to do any more balloon races, but here I am doing balloon races. So, uh, hello there. Is this is your first crack at the balloon race, or maybe you have to go before. Either way, why not team up with Pokemon and try to find, uh, try out my fun balloon bursting game? You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. It's exhilarating, really. If you manage to burst, say, 24 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here at any time. Just let me know. I'm ready. I'm ready for this race. Let's do it. What are we going to do? I'm ready. Which Pokemon do I get to ride? Yeah, I'll give it a try. 40 balloons, but only, you know, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to get them all, but we'll see. If it's one of those things that... Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. Dash is B. Oh, wow. Okay. So far, so good here. I feel like I'm going pretty fast. Cool, I got them both. I don't know if I'm going to try to get them all or just try to get the ones that I can get. Oh, come on, dude. See, I missed that one already. Ugh. Missed that one too. So I think I'm just gonna be happy with the ones that I have. I don't think I'm gonna try to like get them all because getting them all is gonna be so tedious. Some of these are like really high. Uh, I guess we can do a double jump there. So far I'm missing uh, two. What the heck is this, dude? Okay, yeah. See, that's so hard to time. All right, but I, I'm, you know, 32 is pretty good. Thirty-six has got to be good, good enough. Welcome back, you burst 36 balloons. You're so close to bursting them all. A little reward should help keep you motivated. So, I got some stardust, and and I did the the thing, so it's complete. The mission's complete. Good for me. It was gripping watching you ride Pokemon with such skill. Keep challenging yourself to reach either ever greater balloon bursting heights. I don't know why I'm glowing right now. It's kind of odd. Kind of a glowing color. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go deal with Eevee's evolutions here and see what we can do re re involving that because that's going to be really interesting to try to figure out. Uh, so what is up, Floro? Oh, stars above. Where's he gone? Survey Corps kid, listen. Remember the Eevee I befriended with the help of some Jubilife muffins? Well, he's vanished. I was hoping to get some advice on evolving him, but I can't evolve the little guy if he's gone. Please, help me find Eevee. 
Come to think of it, the folks working at Galaxy Hall were always fussing over Eevee. Maybe that'd be a good place to start looking. Z-Dog, my boy, what say you take the Pokemon here in the lab with you on your excursions? I'd love to. Okay, what? I got Oshawott. What? What is this? How do I get that? Rowlet, nice! I got Oshawott and Rowlet, wow! Okay. This is great. These are new ones. This is wonderful. That means I don't have to get them from like the storms or whatever. That's awesome, dude. Thank you. So yeah, sure. Record my findings. Sure. Yeah, there we go. Got him. <laughs> wow, I'm so glad I got him. That's so cool. I didn't even know they would do that, but that's awesome. Uh, I'm still trying to find whoever I'm trying to find about Eevee. Oh, wow. Okay, so look. I found this thing here. Bruh? <laughs> Eevee? It already evolved. Oh, I guess not. My mistake. Seems like Eevee's not here either. Maybe that one already evolved. But something about this Pokemon reminds me of good little Eevee. No, no. It must just be my imagination. Baby, that is Eevee. What's that? Hungry, are we? Survey Court Kid, would you make me a Jubilife Muffin? If I can watch this Pokemon chow down like Eevee did, maybe it'll, I'll understand this nagging feeling I get when I look at it. So, Jubilife Muffin, uh, okay. I don't remember how to make it, but I'll go try to craft one, I guess. Be right back. There we go, made one. Let's return. Uh, I don't know why I'm glowing yellow. It's so weird. It must be a glitch or something, but I'm glowing yellow. Let's just, I, I don't know. Let's go up here and see, uh, see him again. It's probably the same one. Probably already evolved on its own. So here you go. Baby. Would you mind parting with a Jubilife Muffin? Sure. Here you go. I want a CD too. Look at it chow down. It really is the spitting image of Eevee when it does that. Or could it somehow be the real Eevee? It's it. Bree, Eevee, it is you. I missed you, little rascal. So there we go. It evolved. Never thought you'd evolve on your own. Though I suppose the professor did mention how Eevee can evolve even without any stone at all. Huh. Suppose I haven't gotten much use now for these evolution stones I've set aside for Eevee. Uh, I'd like you to have one of them, lad. Which one would you like? Oh, dude. Uh, I don't know. Um... Water stone, I guess. All right, then. Use it well. Getting these precious stones took many a visit to the Ginkgo Guild. All right, I got a water stone. Great. So I need to catch more Eevee and evolve them, basically, is what's happening. Or what's going to have to happen. And that'll be good in o overall just to get more Pokemon like that. So. All right, this guy has another request. Let's see if I can fulfill it really quick. The Garo. You know, I showed that photo of Duskull to the children in the village, and they all shrieked with delight. <laughs> Thanks again for helping me out with it. In fact, I'd like to ask you your help once again, if I might. Would you take a look at this? And... Gosh, what is that? <laughs> this leaves on the head. I don't know. At first, it looks like a perfectly normal landscape shot, wouldn't you say? But take a closer look, and you start to notice something odd about the pair of leaves there in the foreground of the image. That conspicuous pair of leaves popping into the frame like that. I'm inclined to think that they could be part of some Pokemon, but I've got no proof, you see. If you know of a Pokemon with such leaves, would you show it to me to compare with the photo? Okay, I'm in the Crimson Mirelands trying to find the... I think this is it. This is the Pokemon that that guy wants to see. Turtwig. Sure seems like it, right? Let's see if I can get a good shot on it. Good clean shot. Hopefully that works. Got it. Okay, so that's the thing the guy wanted. So now we can return back. Oh, geez. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I couldn't turn down the opportunity to go into a space-time distortion. Let's see what's up. What's up? What's up? What is this? Okay, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and it's an Eevee. I already have an Eevee. I already have a pretty good one, too. Okay. So these guys are following me. Oh, wow. What's this? I don't have this. <laughs> I'll take it. Please let me keep it. Thank you, Porygon. Uh, I have that. What about this other thing? 
How do I switch? How do I uh, like switch between Pokemon? Oh my god, get me out of here. What is this guy? Do I have, I don't have, I have Luxray. What about you? Do I have you? Heracross, I do, good. Okay, great. Uh, oops, let's see, let's see. Uh, I do have, gosh dang it, focus on the other, how do you switch the focus? I have a Cyndaquil, of course I do. Oof. How long can I stay alive in here? Uh, I already have like I just I just now got like so many Eevees. It would have been nice to to be here for this one. I wonder how long I can stay in here though. Oh, that's cool. I got like some stones. Shards all around. Do I need to fight those things? Oh, this thing's, this thing's asleep. That's okay. Whatever. Oof. All right, not too shabby, right? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, what is this? I don't have that. Dang it. Ow, shoot, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Stop, 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 stop. No, hey, I wanna get this other one. Stop it, Boizel. Freaking God, Boizel. Oh my God. Dang it, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. It, it's, it made it, wait, it didn't make it. Too oh, jeez. Hold on, let me heal a little bit, then I'll go back in. Oh, they're following me through. I hate it. I hate it, dude. Okay, wh where's that bunny thing? Because I didn't have the bunny thing. Oh, don't kill me in here. Let me let me heal. Why haven't I healed yet? Good God. Hi. I just have to send out a. Uh... We just have to fight. We have to fight. Uh, no effect. Dang it. Uh, let's do something strong. Okay, one more of those, please. I only have, technically I only have four, four Pokemon here. Because two of them are trying to level up. Nice. All right, I should be good then. How long can I stay in here? This is awesome, let's see. Where's the uh, bunny thing that I had? I, I saw the bunny thing, the bunny thing was awesome. There's that Cyndaquil again. Oh, it's gone, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, let's return home. I feel like I did all right. Let me get out of here before I'm destroyed. All right, I should have exactly what you're looking for because I just caught it. <laughs> and uh, I think I got that Pokemon that you were wanting all the way in my latest pasture here. Uh, There we go, it is a Turtwig. Still so many Pokemon I have yet to discover, and that's what we're learning here. Yes, that pair of leaves on its head, that's it. I knew the photo had captured a Pokemon. Now I'm fired up to take a proper shot of it to commemorate this little discovery. All right, you got it, dude. So, this has been such a learning experience for me. I've been able to hone my eye as a photographer thanks to these little puzzles for sure, but I still wanna see and photograph even more different Pokemon. If you're open to it, I certainly hope you'll keep bringing your Pokemon by to take many more photographs here. There you go, the Pokemon in the river photo. Very cool, and I've already taken a photo with him. And now that uh, you know, I'm yeah, I'm here, or you know, now that I'm ready, I, I actually can re uh, evolve Rowlet and Oshawa, get a couple more Pokemon. So evolve them, do it. These are my starters that I got from uh, the professor post game, I suppose. 
And then we're gonna evolve like eight different Eevees, so it's gonna be great. Dartrix, and then don't forget evolving uh, Oshawott. Do it. Here we go. Boom! All right, into Dewat. There we go, a couple more Pokemon. But now we're gonna focus on all the Eevees, so let's uh, let's do that. All right, so I'm in the Obsidian Field Lands with a bunch of Eevees here, and if you take a look, um, what you can do to evolve them, uh, you can give them like stones and stuff. So this one you can actually evolve, and I hope that I do this... Not now. <laughs> I, I'm confused on what's gonna happen. If if uh, it says it's ready to evolve, I'm just like, eh, not now. <laughs> so, uh, one thing we can do, um, we can give them these stones. This is a water stone. So, like, we could evolve one of the Eevees using the water stone. And I think this will work. So, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, that's one Eevee evolved into a Vaporeon. And then we also have other stones here. We have, for example, a Fire Stone. Well, here's a, here's a Thunder Stone. So uh, let's see here. The thing, so yeah, th we, we need to use, yeah, Fire, Water, Thunder to evolve them into certain types. So we can do that really quick. And then uh, let's let's use that on this Eevee here. I have a Firestone with me as well. And the cool thing about this is it's getting me all new Pokemon. You know, filling up the Pokédex. Boom! Look at this guy. Jolteon. And then we can also do... Where's my Firestone at? I had I swear I brought him. There we go. Firestone. Here's another one. Do it. Boom. Flareon. All right, and then also we were by this mossy, this this like rock or whatever it's called. I don't know if you saw this in the Obsidian Fieldlands, but we're right here, basically. And uh, you investigate, and it feels good to touch. That means you can evolve one of uh, your Eevees. You, I guess you could do all of them if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do one. This Eevee right here and evolve it into, well, let's just see. Let's do it. And there's also an ice block that we've seen in the uh, Alabaster Icelands that we're going to go to. Boom, look at that. There you go. That is now a Leafeon. All right, the next place I'm going is in uh, the Alabaster Icelands at this ice stone here. And uh, if you take a look, I got my Alpha Eevee with me. I'm not going to evolve Alpha Eevee yet. Uh, but we got a couple others that we can evolve. Let's just choose this one. And this one will be able to evolve from the ice stone here. And then the others are just kind of level friendship based evolution. And uh, we'll work on those by leveling them up. And then it's kind of based on the time of the day. So we'll, we'll get to it. One thing I could go ahead and do is go ahead and do the balloon race here. I don't even care about maxing it out, but let's just burst balloons. I'm just gonna, yeah, we know, we know how it works. We're just gonna skip through and I'm ready. Balloon race in the ice lands, let's do it. And 30 balloons. That would be a good start. I'll give it a try. There's a total of 50. I can do 30. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, well, we're on a cliff. <laughs> Gotta be careful. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Nailed it already. Uh, let's see. Sneezler's going to get one. i got a good solid few minutes left to do this, though. Uh, let's go back to... Nope. There you go. 
Alright. God. Alright, this is so difficult. Uh, I don't know how I would perfect this, honestly. Braviary, let's do it, dude. Alright. I got big wings. The better to pop you with. I don't know if I'm gonna hit this one or not. Let's see. Yeah, forget it, forget it. There's no way. There's no way I could get all of them on, on this particular one, you know what I mean? What are we doing? Are we going over here to pop these? No way. Yeah, no way. Let's just go, <laughs> let's just go down here. <laughs> Oh man, such timing it would take. So, let's focus on these guys then for a little while. Just gotta get 30, right? Then I'll be happy. 25 seconds, I can probably do this. Alright, Braviary. God dang it, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you joking kidding me right now? No, no, no. No, no. Stop. Give me Braviary, quick. <laughs> okay, god dang it, dude. I gotta redo it anyway. I didn't even get 30, so let me try again. I don't actually like the balloon races at all. Uh, I'm still learning the ropes. There we go. Let's uh, let's do it again, then. I'll, I'll complete this mission. I got it. I'll give it a try. 30 out of 50 doesn't seem so bad, especially on such a difficult course. All right, go. All right. And then we'll learn how to climb right here. Uh, no, there you go, thank you. Nailed it, nailed it. Right, okay, good, 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 good. Twenty, ten more left. This is a good news. Okay. Uh. Right. Uh. This is the part where I skip this whole air thing and just go straight forward then because it's not. I didn't get. I, I did not get the right amount of height on there. So. Thirty seconds left to get four. I'm gonna take it easy. All right, we got him, we got 30. I'll still have some fun with it, so let's see what we got here. Why did the bird get summoned? Son of a gun. So this is where I'm at, so this is fine. I'm fine with this. 32 is good. That's it, I'm happy, because we at least completed the mission. Welcome back, you burst 32 balloons. Not bad, not bad at all for someone so skilled. I'll offer this as a reward. Two bags of stardust, good. And that also means the mission is complete. Balloon race in the Icelands. There we go. And he's recommending me try something else, so I'm good. All right, I went and talked to this guy who was uh, selling candy and now he has a mission for me. Uh, so what is up? Let's see what he has. Now, before you buy a wee treat, lend me your ear a moment, would you, lad? I already bought a treat. I came up with a new treat using candy truffles, but it's caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tries it says it's beyond saving. A complete disaster. Utterly terrible. I've had it to shelf this new creation, and there it remains in a salty puddle of my bitter tears. It'll likely never see the light of day again. 
It seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from my creation, but at least I like to share my recipe with someone, lest it be forgotten entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I got plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring a soot foot root, a springy mushroom, and a hoppleberry. Got that? That should be pretty easy. I bet I have all three of those in my uh, trunk over here. And uh, also, if you take a look at my Pokemon, I can now level up uh, Dartrix. And uh, by, by level, I mean Evolve Dartrix and Dewat. And so we're gonna do that really quick before I go get his stuff. Just because I wanna show you these evolutions. I'm completing my Pokedex slowly but surely, but we're getting it done. Oh yes, looks like a freaking Scarecrow. It's a uh, Decidueye, I don't know. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I don't know. And then, do what? Let's do it. Do what? We're gonna evolve. That's what we're gonna do. And let's see this one. See, I've been trying to, you know, level him up with fighting, but I got tired, so I gave him some candy. Oh, there you go. Holy cow, that thing is a beast. Samurott. Awesome. And then, uh, let me go over here into my item storage. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, well, no, let me keep my candies there for a second. Grit dust, move all at once, sure. Um, let's get the seed of mastery out of here. Stardust. Uh, you know, I can sell my nuggets. Let me see, what was he wanting? He was wanting a hoppo berry. Let's move one. He was wanting one of these. And I think he was wanting a mushroom, right? A springy mushroom? Awesome. So I'll go talk to him really quick and uh, see if it's uh, see if we got it. See if we got it. You know what I'm saying? See if we got it. I'm still trying to increase my friendship on my Eevee so I can evolve them. I'm ready to learn. So there you go. Three ingredients, and then learn from the master. Sure enough, I will. So what have I learned? Swap snack. When eating this curious snack, temporarily swaps Pokemon's offensive stat with its defensive stats. All right. Well, if that isn't just typical of our Fame Survey Corps recruit, took it like a fitting into the water. Swap snacks seem to swap around a Pokemon's offensive stats and defensive stats for a time. It's a curious sort of mix-up. Not at all what I was going for, but life stirs up all kinds of surprises. And you Survey Corps folks end up fighting against all sorts of different Pokemon, don't you? If anyone can find a good use for my swap snacks, I'm sure it will be someone like you. All right, so indeed serving up some swap snacks. We might be able to just finish all of the remaining missions this episode, right? except for like the last one, which we're gonna save for next episode where we gathered like three really hard Pokemon. Uh, so let's continue onwards. Okay, I haven't caught these guys yet and they're kind of needed for uh, one of the missions to start up. Let's hope that locks in. I'm also looking for a Cleffa, but I don't know where those are. Nice, I also caught a Basculin, which is uh, first time I've caught one of those. All right, by catching that, there should be something on the board, the Clefairy's Moonlit Dance. A stare from the supply corps said he'd like us to look into something about the habits of the Cliff Fairy. Find out more from him and delve into my expertise. So sure, I could do that. Uh, where would he be? Let me let me mark that as one of my main missions to be doing. There we go. And he is located. See where is he located? Is he? He's downstairs. Okay. Let's go talk to him then and see what he could possibly want from me. Regarding this uh, Clefairy. What's up, dude? Back where I came from, Clefairy would come out and dance on nights with a full moon. I've heard there were Clefairy and Hizui, and so I was wondering if they dance here too. I've heard you can find Clefairy at the Fabled Spring. Could you go and find out if Clefairy dan if, if the Clefairy dance here in the Hizui region? So sure, I can do that, but I gotta wait for a full moon, so we'll see how that shakes out. All right, guys, looks like the full moon is finally rising, so let's get over to it. All right, there's an alpha cliff fairy over there. Let's investigate this and see if they do their dance. There they are. 
Pee pee. <laughs> or pie pie. The other day was pie day. They are dancing. Pretty cool. Pee. Pretty sweet moment here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will go let him know. Hold on, there's something glowing. What is that? I'll go investigate. Did they drop something? A moonstone. Okay, cool. Very cool. Still looking for uh, the baby version of these guys. Haven't found one yet. All right, checking in with a stare. Oh, so you see the Clefairy dance here in the land of Hizui too. They must have been adorable to behold. I must go and see them one of these days. Thank you for looking into that for me. I'm excited to see what all you'll accomplish next. So there we go, the Clefairy's Moonlit Dance. And then uh, Pestily up here has a mission for me as well. I just went and talked to her and then uh, that activated the mission. So uh, and this might be one of the last ones I have of the original set of missions. So Pestily, what's up? Hello again, would you do me a quick little favor? Sure, what is it? Don't worry, it's very simple. Could you bring me a hundred medicinal leaks? A <laughs> hundred? These leeks are well known for growing practically all over the region. They're also called Wayfarer's Friends. Knowing you, I bet you could gather a hundred of them in your sleep. Once you have a hundred medicinal leeks you can spare you can spare for me, please do bring them on by. Pesley's easy errand. Okay, I don't know if I have a hundred. I'm gonna go, I have 33 on me. So let me see if I have any in the chest. Okay, I did not have them in my chest, but I can buy them from the Ginkgo Guild merchants here. So let me just buy, oh yeah, not 700. Let's buy like 77, no, 67. We'll do the trick. But let me just buy 100 so that like, you know, I don't need to look for any more. This will put me back on the same page. So there we go. Excellent. And then I can go visit Pesely really quick again. And uh, hopefully this works out okay for her. And I think this is like the last mission I have to do other than to catch those three Pokemon. So, Pesley, what's up? I see you've gathered a hundred leaks. Will you give them to me? Sure, here you go. This easy, easy mission of yours. You handed over a hundred medicinal leaks. Ah, uh, what fine leaks. This will be enough to make plenty of medicine. I'm always running out with, with our constant stream of injured colleagues. This way the medicinal, the medical corp can prepare a nice stock for folks who can't craft their own. Medicines like you can. Pesley's easy air and there you go. I got an adamant man and a modest man. I don't even know what those do, but that's awesome. Okay, sure enough, I've completed all the requests up to 93, which means 94, the incarnate forces of Hizui is the only mission we have left. So I'm gonna do that and try to cat complete the Pokedex next episode. So I hope I can pull it off. There's a lot left in the Pokédex. There's a lot left. It's it's kind of sad how much I have left. But uh, I didn't realize that either when I was going through initially, like in each area, is catching all the Pokémon that were left. Those were the the gray ones that were ones I've seen but not caught. There's still a lot I haven't even seen. So wish me luck on that. I might rely on trades. I don't know. But thanks for watching. All right, guys. I forgot I was going to showcase the other EV evolutions. So uh, let's do that really quick. I got them leveled up. I got them. They're friendly enough. Uh, so level 40, I think, might be the the threshold. So this one, so here's what you do. If um, if you have a fairy move and you're friendly with your Eevee and you're not gonna use a stone, and go ahead and check check the moves, make sure you have a fairy move learned. This one has baby doll eyes uh, learned and uh, equipped. And so, yeah, quit that. And so click evolve and that will change. Let's do it, it's an alpha. I hope that, I wonder if that takes away its alpha status. I don't know, we'll find out. I forgot about this. But check this out. There it is. Grieve evolved into Sylveon. So that's with the fairy move. And you got an idea for a new move too. So cool. And uh, it's still an alpha. That's pretty cool. Now this, like I said, I, I removed the uh, fairy moves from these two here. And uh, you can see I just put in all normals. 
And it's daytime right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to evolve this one. And let's do it, and let's see where that puts us. And then I'll go to nighttime and evolve the other one. There you go. Super cool. Espeon. And then uh, yeah, I could have a team of all Eevees, basically. And then uh, let's switch it over to nighttime then. I could use a rest until nightfall. Nope, not evening. I, I don't, I don't want to risk it. I want to make sure I accidentally click that. Let me do nightfall. Uh, so let's see. My bad. Let me make sure it's night before. I, I want to be sure about this. I could use a rest. And until nightfall. There we go. So, um, now let's do it. Let's see if uh, we can evolve this final Eevee here. Evolve, and now it's nighttime. Should be pretty cool. Let's do it. There it is. Super cool. That's my favorite looking one. Umbreon. So there we go. We evolved the Eevee into all of them. And now we have all the Eevees. And that's just really, really cool. And this Sylveon is an alpha. So, hey, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. We're going to try to finish up the Pokedex. We're going to do the other three Pokemon that are storming around. And uh, maybe we'll meet Arceus. We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.